What's good guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be using a product that I've had for a minute, I just haven't used it. It's been, um, for all intents and purposes, winter here in California, but today, not so much. It, it's like a balmy 91. Sorry for those who might be digging out the snow and scraping off the ice, but yeah, it hit 91 out here where I am in California, so today i'm going to experiment with this baby right here it is the um pulse shaving balm by nivea i've heard so much talk about this product uh especially for those of us with oily skin i hear that it leaves um sort of a matte finish and uh that is exactly right up my alley so i figured i would apply this today i'm just going to do a light face no heavy caking and baking today really it's just too darn hot so i'm going to try this out i'm going to wear it all day and then i will come back with um just a quick mini review of how i feel the product lasted throughout the day and if it is really worth the hype And here I'm applying some concealer, you know, keeping the makeup light, but I also want to try this product with some of my normal customary makeup routine. So I do apply some concealer to uh, some trouble spots. So I'm just dabbing that on and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I know it's in the deepest, the darkest color. I'm not sure what that is, but it's, it's like a deep. So here I am mixing two foundations. My beloved Maybelline, their matte poreless foundation. I'm mixing the number 330, which is the toffee caramel and the 355, which is in coconut. Uh, the 330 is a little bit light for me. And of course the coconut is a little bit dark. So I mix the two, but Guess what? They came out with some new shades. I'm very pleased about that. And I just picked up the number 340 in cappuccino and they have a number 348. I'm not sure what um, the name of that is, but yeah. So I'm going to be trying those out. But for now, I do mix these two and the coverage and the color, you know, I actually like. And I just decided to pull out this palette. It's the L'Oreal La Palette. It's the nude one. And um, yeah, just kind of pop a little color on my brow bone and uh, just very subtle, neutral look on the eye. And that's what I'm doing here. Um, an additional experiment, I'm going to just powder one side of my face. I think I'm going to do the right side, light powdering, and I'm going to leave this side with no powder whatsoever. I want to see out here in this 90 plus degree temperature if the side without any, um, without being set with powder actually stayed pretty um, matte and non-oily and uh, yeah, I just want to see if I come back with a shine or not on either side, but I'm just going to try with powder on one side and no powder on the other side and see how that turns out.
Just a lip liner by Rimmel. I cannot pronounce this name. Um, oh, Tiramisu. Oh, I thought it was something else. Tiramisu. One of my favorite lip liners by Rimmel. And I'm using the Maybelline Vivid Liquid Matte. Pick this up at your local drugstore. And, um, oof. Troll. <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. This label is so tiny, I, I can't even read that. But I'm going to just do a lip with the. Okay, so this is it. Not a whole lot of makeup. I didn't do any baking and all that stuff today. No, it's just too darn hot for that. So um, again, I'm going to wear this look for a couple of hours and run out, run some errands. And when I get back, I will, yeah, just give you guys my opinion on how this product worked and if it's actually worth the hype. See you in a bit. I'm back as promised. Uh, Whew. It was like, yeah, scorcher, scorcher today. But um, this is me coming back in the house after just being out there in the elements. I gave it a go. And um, yeah, I'm just glad it's over. I'm ready to wash my face and get this, just get all this makeup off my face. But um, I actually think the product held up pretty well I, I really can't complain too much i do have a little bit of a shine um this is the side i didn't powder it's a little more shinier than this side not too too much um but for the most part i think um i think it held up pretty good because if i hadn't prepped or primed my skin with anything oh yeah this right here would just be i could probably lube a car it just because i am oily so um, I can't really complain too much. I think it did its job, especially for the price. I can't really complain. Um, so I'm just going to keep on wearing this for the next couple of days. This is my first day wearing it. I'm going to keep on wearing it and try it in different variations and see how, um, you know, how I feel about it then. And, um, if it's something I'm going to incorporate into my just, you know, everyday regimen, so yeah, so I'm giving it um, a go. If you have oily skin especially, um, it's probably um, something we're trying out. So yeah, so yeah, that's, that's um, I'm rambling now. I know, I know, <laughs> but just wanted to come back to you ladies and let you know how the exper experiment, how it went. This is the final result. Yeah, you know not really greasy or anything it's just you know this is what it is but that is this is the final result I can live with this I can live with this so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video about to wash this away bye guys